Hello all my Hollow Maniacs out there, welcome back to the channel, it is so great to see you again. And uh, you guys have seen me do a few videos from this couch now. But I think it's time that we rose from the couch and you guys get to see all of the studio and it's awesome, nerdy, glory! Okay, you get a studio tour today. <laughs> so I'm here today to show you guys the other side of the camera. But before we begin the tour, I just want to do a quick little reminder. I'm still doing the sweepstakes right now for the Disney gift cards. So if you guys want to enter for a chance to win, I'm giving away two. For both of them, you need to go down in the description, download Disney Emoji Blitz, play the game for a while, and if you score over a million points, screenshot that. Uh, take that image, tag me on Twitter or Instagram. You can use that to enter to win a $50 gift card. If you want to try to win the 100, you have to get to level 50. Take a screenshot of that and then tag me on Twitter or Instagram and that'll be your submission for that. The winner will be announced on April 4th, so happy playing and have fun. All right, now time for the grand reveal. Now welcome to the studio. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where the music came from. First thing you may notice is there are a lot of lights in here. Yes, you are very much right. But I've discovered after this move, I really like lights. They're fun. And they really make the videos kind of pop. So I'm really grateful for that. Come on, let's go check out the studio. Now, as soon as you walk in, one of the first things that you see is what I call my voice acting wall. Because over here, I have some memorabilia from some of my voice acting career. I've got a poster for the very first movie I was ever cast in, Pup Star. But then I also have the poster and maquette from the biggest role I've ever had, which was Dracula in Hotel Transylvania, Transformania. And look, look at the maquette, isn't it beautiful? Hello there. <laughs> and the voice acting wall also doubles as my music corner, as I've got my keyboard right here, I've got my guitar and my ukulele right here. Uh, so I'll come over here to work out music parts and everything for videos or voice jobs and stuff like that and it comes in handy quite frequently. And it's also kind of in the corner over here where behind the door where I will store my uh, my wheel for Twitch streams and my, <laughs> my ring light when I'm not using them. That's right, you gotta be creative and utilize space, you know what I'm talking about? Then a little further, we just got like a set of drawers that I use for props and miscellaneous crud and whatnot. And I've also got my Thanos gauntlet here. Uh, just a little fun mammoth figure and also I don't think I've ever showed it. The Febreze is, the Febreze looks weird in the shot. Go in Febreze. So this is actually a Donald plush that I bought when I went to Club 33. For those of you guys who know, at Club 33, it's one of the most uh, exclusive places at Disneyland. So um, I bought him there so he's kind of like a really cool thing. Then you progress a little bit to the entertainment center, which happens to be playing Hotel Transylvania, Transformania, with a little bit of Dracula in there, of course. Hello there, Dracula. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, but this is kind of where I've got all my games and my movies. Well, okay, my movies are actually not in here. There's not enough space for them. But my games are all here. Got my Wii U here. Yes, I have a Wii U. I use it mainly for virtual console and older games, but my Xbox One, my PS5, got my Switch over here. I'm thinking about getting an Xbox Series X, but we'll see what happens with that. But then I also have my sign, because this is the Brian Hall Studios. Walking in here every day and seeing that kind of just gets me hyped. Just like, oh yeah, we got some content to make today. We got some good stuff. I'm excited. Also got a fun original Mickey Mouse Studios and Silly Symphonies sign like what you would have seen at the Hyperion back in the day. It just kind of gets me excited because the old school Disney just really gets me super excited and gets me inspired to make more content and be awesome. So yeah. And then a fun caricature. If you guys want to see the day that I got that, you can check out the video that's in the, that's tagged up top. And right past the entertainment center, we have Command Central. This is where I do all my live streaming, my editing, my voiceover recordings, all the things. So as you come up to Megadesk, you might notice this big old fellow right here. This is a uh, Tremor Tusk from uh, Horizon Forbidden West, the brand new game from Horizon Zero Dawn. I was hoping he'd end up on the bookshelf, but he was way too big. And look at that little Aloy right here. And we have my live stream set up. So you guys can see I've got my camera up here that's ready to go to film me at a moment's notice. I've got my ring light to make sure that I look pretty. And that's why it's on right now, so I have some kind of light on me. So yeah, for all of you guys who watch my Twitch streams and stuff, this is what I'm looking at the whole time I'm streaming with y'all. It's just this little corner. <laughs> 
Yeah, and that's my second screen for my live stream, just because when I'm playing a game that's like built into my PC, I can't see y'all's chat and stuff, so that's what goes on that second screen. And this is my Mac. This is where I do most of my voice recording, my editing. Pretty much this is most of my stuff. I pretty much only live stream at these computers or play games. So this is all for gaming and live stream. And my Mac is for everything else. <laughs> And I've got my silver play button for hitting 100,000 subs and my gold play button for hitting a million subs. I've got my voiceover recording because this is kind of my main voiceover area. I also got my Cintiq over here. So if you guys don't know what a Cintiq is, this is actually a screen that's hooked up to my Mac that I can actually draw directly onto this. So if I'm doing a drawing live stream, I use it a lot for thumbnails also so I can cut out backgrounds and things and I can do it a little more precisely. And there's, there's my beautiful microphone. That is my, that's my special voice acting microphone. That's my Neumann TLM 103. Oh, it sounds pretty. Oh, it sounds pretty. And even though I know it's probably not a huge deal to a lot of people, but a few people probably want to know, um, as a voiceover artist, why don't you see a whole lot of foam in the studio? Well, that's because most of it is above you. I've actually put foam all the way across the entire ceiling of my studio. And then also I make sure I have carpet in here. So the carpet and the foam do a lot of the sound absorption in here. And like half of the walls have soundproofing inside of the walls. So that's how I can get away with so little foam. It actually sounds pretty good in here too, I think. And then I've got my hat rack for live streams. So. If you guys watch the live streams, I'm sure you've seen that. We've got my bookshelf that's all lit up and everything. I've got a different shelf for everything. That's my Jurassic Park shelf or Jurassic World shelf. Uh, my Disney shelf, my video game shelf, my kind of Star Wars and Marvel shelf, a uh, random shelf, and another Disney shelf. And my shoes for some reason, I guess I didn't clean those up. But last but not least, the wall y'all are most familiar with, kind of my set wall. This is uh, the couch where I do all of my filming. Well, at least lately, it's actually a new couch, but it's really nice. And then also, not everybody has seen Jimmy yet. So um, if you guys haven't met Jimmy yet, it's about time you did. This is Jimmy, or that's Jimmy. <laughs> he is a character that I created for Twitch. He is my emote on there. He's also the emote here on my YouTube membership. Um, but he's quickly just becoming the mascot of the channel. He's on this pillow now, and like you could totally buy this pillow on the merch store now, and there'll be much more Jimmy stuff coming, so get excited. But then y'all don't always get to see the stuff on these top shelves. Here we've got Godzilla the Hulk. Pikachu doing a giant thunderbolt, it's really fun. Batman, we've got uh, Kingdom Hearts Keyblade, we've got Sorcerer Mickey, Darth Vader, Grogu, we've got Gollum searching for the One Ring that happens to be hanging just out of reach of him, so he can't see it. And an Aang from Avatar, I finally watched that, loved it. Uh, we've got my Harry Potter shelf, the Looney Tunes shelf, and we got another Batman, uh, Master Chief, and Mandalorian. So yeah, that's really the extent of the studio. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the studio tour. And now whenever you guys see me doing a live stream or making a video, you now know what's on the other side of the camera. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.